What's up guys, Offset Syntax here, aka Straight Killer Florilla. In today's video, I'm going to expand on my new do-it-yourself kill feed tutorial and show you guys just how easy it is to add features to the project. A quick shout out to Void Draco Earth. His support enabled me to get this tutorial out a bit earlier than I had planned. If you play on Xbox, check out his server and see what he's got going on. All right, it's time to find out just how easy it is to add a feature to this project. Lego. All right, picking up from where we left off on the original tutorial, I've got my project folder on my desktop and it's already configured and ready to run. If you haven't completed my original tutorial, then go to my YouTube page and check out the 2023 Do It Yourself Daisy Kill Feed tutorial. Once you complete that tutorial, come back to this video. All right, next we need to grab the new features. I've already done the hard work for you and have coded the new commands. All you're gonna have to do is grab them and install them. Let's navigate to my GitHub page. We're gonna wanna check out the Kill Feed Do It Yourself tutorial 2.0 add-on repository all right this repository has a license file readme and an ac.js file ac stands for access controls this is the file that contains our new feature we're going to click on the code drop down and we want to download the zip file so we get all the files into one archive all right got it and then we'll grab our downloads folder so we'll minimize this. And we'll just drag our new zip file to our desktop like so. And now we've got our zip file and our project folder. Next, we're gonna open the project with Visual Studio Code by right-clicking on the folder, selecting open with code. And this will open the entire project folder on the left side here in Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna expand the commands folder here, revealing just the admin.js file. I'm now going to add my new commands to the project, first by minimizing Visual Studio Code. I'm then going to uh, open this folder here like so. I'm gonna shrink this a little bit to make it a little easier to manage. And then I'm gonna also open my uh, zip file here right next to it so that I have both of these directories open. Here's the command folder with just the admin.js file in it like we saw in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open this folder and I'm gonna drag this ac.js file into the commands folder like so. Be sure to check out the license and readme files. Very important information in those two files. Okay, let's go back to our project in Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, the ac.js file is present in our uh, in Visual Studio Code. This file contains all of our new commands. And what we'll want to do is open a new terminal if one is not already open. It's not one open here, so I'm gonna click Terminal, and new terminal like so. And then what we're gonna wanna do is install some dependencies that the project will need, or the new features will need. And I gave you guys a little hint here, a little reminder. All right, and so what we can do is we can just copy this command here, like so. And we're gonna paste that into the terminal and hit enter. Give it a second and dependency now installed. Okay, now we need to register our new commands so that they pop up in our Discord. The way we do that is give a simple command, node register.js, enter. And we'll give it a minute or so and what should happen is we get a uh, response from the bot telling us that the uh, commands have been registered. Depending on your internet connection in Discord, this could take a couple minutes. See, we got started refreshing day zero and successfully reloaded uh, day zero uh, slash commands. Pretty simple, right? I told you guys this would be really, really easy. All right, the only thing we need to do uh, before being able to run our bot with its new features is sync our whitelist, ban list, and priority list to the bot. To do that, I'm gonna go over to uh, my Netrato page 
and I'm going to use whitelist for example and I'm just going to simply copy all the entries for my whitelist I'm going to copy and then I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code and in your logs folder you should now have a couple additional files your band list your priority list and your whitelist this is my whitelist so I'm going to go to whitelist.txt or .txt and I'm just going to simply paste in all those names all right and then I'm going to save the file and I've synced my whitelist to the bot. I would just do the same thing for my priority list and for my band list. I don't have any entries here, but we'll just copy those from here to here. And now we're ready to run the bot. All I'm gonna do now is hold the control key, press C to kill the terminal. And then we're gonna give it the node index.js command and hit enter. My bot is now running. Let's head back over to Discord and see what we've got. All right, so I'm gonna use the shortcut slash whitelist. And if you use a shortcut, anything that has that keyword in it will pop up as far as commands and the command list. So uh, we've got uh, a command for DevOps and day zero. If you remember from the original tutorial, DevOps was my test bot. So we're gonna use DevOps to give this command because that's what's tied to this kill feed running in Visual Studio Code anyway. Uh, so we've got uh, a gamer tag entry and an action. All right, so I'm gonna put the gamer tag with your DYI kill feed, and then we're gonna tab over to action, and we got add or remove, we're gonna add it, and then hit enter. All right, got a request success message from the bot. So now I should be able to go back to my Visual Studio Code session, and <clears throat> when I click on the uh, whitelist.txt, I now have do-it-yourself kill feed um, specified here at the bottom of the list. Now, the way this works is the bot keeps an internal list and then pushes that list to Discord. So I should now be able to go to my Discord, um, excuse me, not my Discord, but uh, Nitrado. It pushes it from Discord to, uh, to Nitrado. So I'm gonna go to my Nitrado page and you can see where we copied the list from before. We don't see anything, but if I refresh this page like so, and scroll down, we now have at the bottom of the list, the DYI kill feed whitelisted player. All right, just to confirm that everything is working the way it's supposed to, I'm gonna go back to my Discord, and this time I'm going to remove the same gamer tag. It's important that you enter uh, gamer tags exactly um, because the bot's going to look for exactly what you enter. So slash whitelist again. We're going to use DevOps. And the gamer tag was capital D-I-Y. Do it yourself. Space K-I-L-L-F-E-E-D. Right. And I'm going to just go back to my Nitrata real quick to make sure. Yep. K-I-L-L-I-E-D. Right. Looks the same. Looks the same. This time we're going to remove. And I'm going to hit enter. Got to request success. Let's go check out uh, the uh, the bot in Visual Studio Code, and we can see that that uh, gamer tag is now gone from the internal list. And then let's go to Nitrato and refresh the page. Scroll down, and it's also gone here. All righty, that's all there is to it, guys. If I could only give one more uh, piece of advice, I would say uh, when you guys sync your list uh, make sure that you have an empty space at the end of your list uh, and save the file so that when you add it won't add it onto the same line as your last entry um, outside of that guys again very simple uh, maybe next time uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll talk about or take a look at how to physically uh, create new commands uh, of your own and add them to the project. If there's something you're interested in seeing, then let me know in the comments or if there's something specifically uh, feature-wise uh, that you think would be cool or you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Again, with enough support, I'll keep releasing um, additional features and uh, maybe at some point we'll have a really, really, really awesome free do-it-yourself open source kill feed. If you guys like this video and or you found this video helpful, smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Your support helps me continue to provide you guys awesome content like today's. Until next time.